Show me Apple, please, because look at it, down five bucks today, two and a half percent, back to 188. Mm. Their problem is there's not that much demand, so we are told, for iPhones going into the holiday season. Tech entrepreneur John Mayer is with us. He's with v Transpire Ventures. John, welcome to the show. Um, if Apple is not the market leader, the stock market leader, and it's not at the moment, who is? I think going forward for the next two to three years, uh, we will slowly see Amazon and companies like Google become the market leaders uh, in tech, uh, mainly due to the work they've done in the AI space. You've seen Amazon begin to release their completely cashierless grocery stores. We're seeing Google begin to, uh, in mass, roll out their self-driving cars. These things have very monumental impacts on the economy and the workforce, and then also their, their top-line revenues. AI then promotes Amazon and Google, makes them the leaders of the pack again. That's very interesting, John. Uh, you, you spoke about self-driving cars there. I know that's an area that you know about. Uh, tell me, when are we actually going to see them on the road in large numbers? The journal says they're hitting a lot of roadblocks with local authorities. They can't get them on the road. Yes, great question. What's interesting is that when I spend my time in, you know, Northern California, in, in Palo Alto, for example, I was there two weeks ago, I look over my shoulder as I'm driving around in my, my own rental car, and I see Google's uh, self-driving cars everywhere. And in the really? last month... Wait a second, John. Uh, in... Really? Yeah, okay, you're, you're up in the Bay Area, San Francisco, and they're on the road, you see a Correct. lot of them, no driver behind the wheel, none? So historically, for the last year, I've seen these cars with a driver behind the wheel, which has been required by the local regulations, even though they have been driving themselves around. However, in the last month, uh, in fact, just the last few weeks, uh, uh, in the Palo Alto area, it has now been fully legalized for Google alone, so they're the first company, to now get these cars on the road as of a few weeks ago uh, in full self-driving capability with no driver in the driver's seat. And so um, what's, what's even more interesting about this is Google's self-driving division, Waymo, has already driven 10 million miles completely autonomously with no driver intervention in over 25 cities uh, across the U.S. And that's with, with zero accidents. So the, I think the reason we're not hearing about this a whole, whole lot is because normal riders haven't begun to interact with these vehicles a whole lot. But in reality, Google... Google, uh, their self-driving division, Waymo, has, has now released a, a slew of data on, on not only how many miles these cars have driven, oh. but also their, their accident rates, which is, is just remarkably, remarkably low. John, you're opening up a whole new world to our viewers. We didn't know this was happening, and we appreciate you telling us what's going on there. Good stuff. John, come Absolutely. back soon, okay? Thanks very much, John Mayer. Thank you. I will.